everyone, this is Einfari here, and I have had many requests asking on how to remove limb bits from 110s, 111s, so I'm going to make a tutorial on how to do that. So unlike the 210s that can come with limb keys, the 1 series does not come with that, so I like to use something that's like long and flat to be able to remove the parts from the 111, so like a end of a flathead screwdriver or a tweezers should work. So what you do is that each uh, that in each block there is a pry area. There's a hole here, here, here for the front legs. And in the back there is one here for the tail and then here for the back legs. So I'll start with the head. Go for the just like go so you want to pull right on you want to kind of push into the primar into the like, right into the pry area. And then very slightly, sometimes it can be a bit finicky depending on if your dog is dirty or whatnot, but you pull, kind of put, you, so you slide, so you slide your tool into the pry hole, like the pry slot, and then you pull up and at the same time push on the limb part to be able to remove it. So then there's the head and now for the front legs. Same thing, push and slide forward on this leg, slides out. And for some reason the tail block is always the hardest for me, but a pry mark is still under the tail and then it should just be able to pull up and slide out. And then back legs. So this dog is pretty dirty, so they're a little bit they're a little bit sticky on him in some spots because he's dirty and kind of beat up. But and here's the last leg. And then I'm just gonna give it a little wiggle because it's out, but it's a little stuck because it's dirty. And then slide back. And there you've got the core and chunks of one series. So to put it back on, you basically just do the same thing in reverse. So there's no real order you have to put it back on for the one series because everything's flat with each other. But I'll start with the head. You just want to make sure you align the grooves on the bottom of these plastics here onto where they line up on the core. So there's usually so there's like two, there's like two in the front that I use to align, push back, and then the tail, tail block. Again, like there's these two little nubs in the bottom that align with this part on the core. So those, those the tail always gives me trouble for some reason. But then that one, then they go like that. And then these are the slots we want to be looking at on the legs. And then here's how they look on the front. And then here's how they look on the back. And if you see like this little like tab here, this is what you're pushing on when you pull up on the, when you pull up on the plastics using the tool using the tweezers or whatever tool you're using to remove them so then you put them back on just align them with the core and slide it back on And these parts, you should—they should never require a lot of pressure to to be able to reassemble. So if so, if something is being pushy or not easily sliding back on, that means you probably have the tabs. To, you probably have the tabs from the part that connect to the core out of alignment. So you just need to realign and find something that works until it slides easily like this. And there you have it. That this is how that's how you remove the part. That's how you remove the blocks on a one series. Now he's all back together. Thanks for watching.